Steroids in sports. Once and for all, I did not use steroids or any other illegal substance. This, said by, quote, baseball great Mark McGuire, was something he said when he was testifying to Congress about steroid use. However, he himself would later say the opposite of this comment. Just last year, he admitted in an interview that he indeed did steroids. Steroids, is a broad, steroids refers to a broad term. It could refer from many things, to human growth hormone, to performance-enhancing drugs. But in this case, it's referring to mainly performance-enhancing drugs, or PEDs. Steroids are basically like cheating on a test, except if you are caught and you get a zero on a test, you're caught using steroids, there are much more severe consequences. Playing baseball, I have to practice to get better. But steroids can be thought of as an easy way out for baseball players when in order to enhance their performance, and that's unjust. Although already banned, I feel that steroids should remain banned because they have everlasting health problems, or they cause everlasting health problems. They ruin the reputations of athletes, and there are severe penalties associated with them, with use. Let's take a look at steroids and how they originated. Steroids were actually accidentally discovered by German scientists in the 1930s in the form of a pharmaceutical drug. However, they weren't heard from again until the 1950s, when the FDA approved a drug called Dianabol, which was the first FDA-approved steroid. Effects of Dianabol weren't tested until, the, until 1996, when the National Institute of Health tested the effects of the drug. After a six-week period, it showed that steroids increased muscle mass and density, and decreased fat content. Congress also passed acts, passed steroids as part of the Controlled Substances Act in 1990, and in 2005 they revealed or they confirmed it to be a controlled substance. Steroids, one reason steroids should remain banned is because they cause permanent damaging health effects. For example, Dr. Harm Kuypers at the University of Limburg discovered that it causes many liver issues, such as cuts, reduced liver excretory functions, which means it can't sort through things as well, which is its job, jaundice, which is pigmentation turning yellow in the skin and eyes, cystic degeneration of the liver, which is basically gradual breakdown, and cancerous tumors. He also discovered that it causes reproductive system abnormalities, such as in males, it causes diminished sperm pr production, decreased size of the testes and, or, and potential breast development. And in females, it can cause facial hair, an abnormal menstrual cycle, and deepening of the voice. In, for heart problems, it can increase cholesterol and high blood pressure. It can enlarge the heart, cause heart attacks and cardiomyopathy, which is basically heart disease. In terms of mental and psychological, it can cause aggression, violent actions, sleeping disorders, anxiety, paranoia, and hallucinations. And it can also, people can also develop a dependence on the drug, which can lead to depression, suicidal thoughts or actions, and or mood changes. In addition, steroids can also cause type 2 diabetes, various types of cancer, and thyroid issues. These are just among the endless possibilities that steroids can cause in the body, all harmful. However, while steroids are linked to bad physical health, some people consider the actions players using them in sports to have a greater impact on society. Another reason why steroids should remain banned in sports is because they tarnish the reputations of athletes who are so well respected in their sports. For example, Take a look at Mark McGuire, the speaker of the court I mentioned earlier. McGuire was the St. Louis Cardinals' first baseman throughout the late 1990s, and he, along with Chicago Cubs right fielder Sammy Sosa, were among the best power hitters of their time. They both used steroids. In addition, according to Health News Digest, Roger Clemens, the all-time Cy Young Award leading winner, which is the pitching award in baseball, he won seven, he also used steroids. Even in cycling, there's a presence, especially in the Tour de France. Floyd Landis and Alberto Contador, 
Two of, the past, two of the winners of the Tour de France in the past five years both tested positive for steroids. And Floyd Landis actually had his title revoked. Even Lance Armstrong, pictured, pictured here, was tested positive to have used steroids back in 2009 during his comeback attempt. This just shows that, and after this, all of them were shunned by the public. This shows that, aside from a physical impact, the impact is also negative on people's minds. They see these athletes as role models, and when they take the walk of shame, it just crushes them. There's no induction into a Hall of Fame that's very likely, especially in baseball. It's very possible. But actual penalties that are associated with this can, actually, can be much worse. The third reason why steroids should remain banned in sports is because there are penalties that are easily avoidable. For example, ESPN published a, an article on the MLB, Major League Baseball's, uh, policy on steroids. Originally, they only issued a 10-game steroid ban, or a 10-game ban for a first use of steroids. But after a couple of years, they decided to up that first use penalty to 50 games. Then, for a second use, 100 games. And then on a third use, a lifetime ban from baseball, which on the former policy, was only after a fifth use. This shows that baseball is cracking down on steroid users and making sure that there are none of them in baseball. Realize that 50 games is about one-third of the Major League Baseball season. And not only is the player letting themselves down, but they're letting their team down and their fans down. In the NFL, the National Football League, the minimum suspension for steroid use is four games. That's one-fourth of the season, and like baseball, a fine can be given, according to the United States Department of Justice Drug Enforcement Administration. Even in the Olympics, if an athlete is found to have used drugs, their medals can be revoked, used steroids. Picture here is Manny Ramirez, who in baseball in 2009 used steroids and had served a 50-game suspension. This is Brian Cushing's on the Houston Texans, who served a four-game suspension. And then in addition, there's also brushes with the law possible. If an athlete is asked to testify in court about their use of steroids and lies, they can face perjury charges, like Roger Clemens. Also, in addition to Roger Clemens, who was previously mentioned, Barry Bonds, the all-time home run leader, used steroids, and he currently, today, is starting his perjury trials. In order to make sure that steroids remain banned in sports, there are so many things that need to be done. Fines need to be heavier, and the likelihood of jail time needs to be increased dramatically. Take a look at Barry Bonds here. This was Barry Bonds in the early 1990s when he was with the Pittsburgh Pirates. This was him when he was with the San Francisco Giants in the late 90s. Take a look. Do they even look like the same person? His muscles are so much thinner here, and he's so much bulkier here, there's no possible way he could have done this by just working out in the gym. You can see here that there's an asterisk next to the 756 on this picture. Why? Steroids. In addition, uh, in addition, each sport should issue harsher penalties. Baseball's already done this, but other sports like football and basketball need to do this too. And I feel that a, at least a minimum one-year suspension, or equivalent to that if it's mid-season, should be in force if a player uses steroids. Also, any record set by players who use steroids should be considered illegitimate and removed from the record books because they are unfair. People should also ignore or disapprove of these players because they're cheating. There's not much else to say for that. And if any of this really can't be done, at least a petition needs to be put into effect to get this in the minds of the people saying this is wrong. In conclusion, even though steroids are already banned, they should remain this way because of their everlasting health effects, they ruin the reputations of athletes using them, and there are severe penalties associated with them. While these reasons apply mainly to the players themselves, they are the users of steroids, so it's only, like, it's only fair that they are the ones who get the message. And we can send that message. We should not support these players to go into their Hall of Fames when their time comes for that, when their time comes for that. We need to send messages to upcoming athletes to make sure that they know steroids are wrong and make the right decision.
Think about it. If you're an aspiring athlete and you dream to become the best, don't use steroids. If you're offered a needle or a pill, think about everyone. Yourself, your family, your friends, your team, your fans. Think about it. Thank you.